One coat paint for wood indoors is used on untreated surfaces that are absorbent, such as, for example, untreated tongue and groove boards. Note, however, that absorbent surfaces require a lot of linseed oil. The end result is a lasting, beautiful matte finish. Before you begin, make sure that you have everything you need. Linseed oil paint in the colour of your choice. Boiled linseed oil for diluting the paint. An empty pot for mixing the paint in. A stick for stirring the paint. A suitable brush. A cloth for wiping the brush and hands. Soap for washing the brush and hands. Before you begin, we recommend that you first read the application instructions and tips included in our brochure and on our website. Estimated rate of distribution per coat on untreated wood is 5 to 7 square metres per litre of paint. The drying time of the paint is 1 to 2 days under normal drying conditions. The optimal temperature to apply the paint is between 5 and 25 degrees Celsius. Make sure that you have good ventilation in the room you're painting in, especially for drying purposes. The easiest way to open a paint pot is to place a foot firmly on it and then remove the lid using a putty knife and mallet. An undamaged lid is easy to put on again and will tightly seal the contents. Make a measure from the stick used for stirring. For painting untreated wood, you need approximately 80% linseed oil paint and 20% boiled linseed oil. Stir the newly opened can so that the paint is thoroughly mixed and smooth. Wipe the stick with the brush to avoid any mess. Place the stick into the empty pot and pour in the linseed oil paint up to the first line. Wipe the pot. Then pour in the boiled linseed oil up to the next line. And then mix all the ingredients thoroughly so the entire volume is homogeneous. Wipe the stick used for mixing and label the pot so that you know what it contains. It's useful to know what is in the paint store so that you can find the paint the next time you need it. If the paint has been standing a while beforehand, it is recommended to stir it again. Avoid dipping the brush too deeply so that you get too much paint on it as this can result in it being runny and difficult to achieve a smooth finish. The paintbrush we are using is a large wide facade brush that covers a large area. Using a crisscross technique the paint is applied in all the recesses. Make sure that the paint is evenly distributed over the entire surface. Paint wet on wet and avoid going back over what you have already painted. Also avoid taking a break in the middle of a surface so that you don't have to apply a second coat. Smooth out the newly painted surface with long strokes of the brush. Wipe off the excess paint on a piece of paper or a board. Then wipe the brush with the cloth. It is important that the cloth is rinsed in water before throwing it away to prevent spontaneous combustion. Wash the brushes in soap and water. It is a good investment to look after your brushes as a good brush is expensive. A second-hand, well-maintained brush is also better to work with than one that is brand new. If you intend to continue painting in a few days using the same paint, it is not necessary to wash the brushes, but just let them remain in raw linseed oil so the paint doesn't dry. The leftover paint is best kept by placing a piece of plastic directly over it before putting on the lid. This will then keep the paint fresh and without a skin forming for the next time you are ready to paint. With linseed oil paint you get a beautiful surface in just one coat that will last for many years. This simple application is suitable for ceilings, lofts and wall spaces where you want to emphasise the structure of the wood.